Hi, welcome to this um, virtual box system. Thanks, some um, thanks to Zibidi Boss. You know the guy from Destination Linux, maybe. I got me thinking, and what ifs came popping into my head. So we're on Arch Linux D, but it's an, an already a different kind of build. So coming days probably, I'll venture in other ways to think about the ISO then how to build Arch Linux ISO and Arch Linux D ISO they both are actually the same for me but um, that's not the point of this video how about doing what he's doing installing Plasma on Arch Linux D so just out of the top of my head what do you do? well I always say first things first you go and have a look at your mirror I don't know where you live but this command will check out all the Arch Linux mirrors and sort them for you. The fastest server is now in the system. And then we, okay, there's a keyboard shortcut there. Now we are going to install the rest. So sudo pacman minus s. It's just build this ISO. I mean, what could happen? Sorry, update. Let's just keep it simple for everybody. There you go. Nothing to do. And PDS YUA, is there a package that needs updating? No. It's just one out of date AOR package. You know what it means? It means that a maintainer, not Arch Linux, not Arch Linux, an AOR, a person in flesh and blood, or bones, they say, in flesh and bones, I think, is not maintaining this thing. Well, it's an holiday, all right? So it gets fixed. It's just a version number. It will work your breeze cursor. The thing is, we need to install Plasma. Okay, Plasma. We just keep typing, and you see the Plasma, Plasma Desktop. And often there is this, there are these meta packages, and here I see also the word meta. You see, Plasma, Plasma Meta, which means it's going to install that. And X cursor R, it's okay. Then you remove it. And a bunch of stuff is coming in. So the Plasma Meta package is going to be installed. And the difference in this video is that we're not going to use LightDM as we all, always do. All our ISOs, all our desktops use LightDM, which makes it easy for people to recognize, oh no, I need to change something. It's going to be in the ETC, LightDM, LightDM conf. Always. But this time around, let's install SDDM. You see it already here, the, and the words near at the bottom there as DDM KCM. You see? So standard, he's getting that. And on our ISOs, we get rid of it again because we don't want it. It's going to well be annoying because they're fighting against each other. Well, ITM wants to be in control, and SDSDM, SDDM wants to be in control. So with just getting rid of it. There is no fight. Okay. Now we need to be, we need to still say the system that we need to enable the service as the DM. So this, this display uh, failed to enable, no problem, just type a force behind it. And now he's happy. Remember LightDM, SDM? Now we said this is the guy that's going to do it, not like him. Sudo reboots. Make sure you boot up, of course, in the exist existing OS. And we've got a lot bunch of stuff coming in, but the look is not that nice, of course not. It's just a standard as a DDM look, and that's why one of the things I don't like about it, and I haven't found really a nice one. There are some nice ones out there, I know. But some that I could say 100% this is going to be it. So LightDM stays, but hey, you can do whatever you want. This is going to be an Arch Linux D plasma system. And that's how we did it. And that's how you can do it. Now, all the rest needs still to, to be installed. I mean, there is no... Let's have a look at the applications. There is hardly... An application but this is and that's interesting for to watch what is plasma meta package providing right so these packages are actually not coming from Arch Linux 
or well yeah arsenic yes but it's um you have to filter them out when you watch videos on alkalinix you these guys are actually already coming from them this one for sure this is our choice this is also our choice i think some of the things we want to have when we are working on the system but most of the stuff is actually decided by this plasma meta package thingy you see and we were experimenting zebedee boss and i with nvidia settings and all that so yes we know that there are issues with nvidia uh, everybody is is coping with them somehow but that's uh, another topic altogether so this is our termites and of course voila there we go a nice screen fetch to end the video 789 packages which is actually pretty minimal right so this is one of the possibilities this is your ISO Arcanix D and put on there what you want start from scratch very um, bare bone and then build everything up or there's another one that's Arcanix B where you decide what goes in, into the ISO with a package file and then you build an ISO burn an ISO boot from the ISO and have also something you like minimal or even more uh, applications that's up to you all right enjoy